if A and B are independent events, then the probability of A and B is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B. For example, if you roll a die two times in a row, what is the probability of getting three both times? We have the probability of three and three. Keep in mind that the first event, rolling a three, has no effect on the probability of rolling a three the second time. So these are independent events. We can think of this as the probability of rolling a three times the probability of rolling a three. Probability of rolling a three, there is one three out of six total outcomes. And rolling a three the second time, one way to get a three out of six total outcomes. Multiply and we get one over 36. In the second example, a family has four kids. What is the probability of having four boys in a row? We can think of this as the probability of having a boy and boy and boy and boy again. Notice that the first kid has no effect on the probability of the second kid, the third, the fourth. So we have independent events, probability of boy times probability of boy times probability of boy and times probability of boy. The probability of having a boy the first time is one half. Second time is a half. Third time is a half, and fourth time is one half. So multiplying, we get one sixteenth. The probability of having four boys in a row, one sixteenth.